The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez. And this is where we talk flicks. I walk to the podcast, the podcast with me, the Captain. Talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks. Anything you see on the two-point screen, I have to get on here and give my unique perspective. Because after 44 years of being on planet Earth, I have developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. I have to get on here and tell you about it. Because just maybe. Just maybe you care. And apparently, according to the stats, you care. I want to give a shout out to my peeps in the United States of America and the United Kingdom, Canada, Belgium, Mexico, France, Congo, Australia, all you guys. I appreciate you checking the podcast. I do it for the love of the podcast. And it's nice to know that you guys are hearing me on the other side of the globe. Very nice to know. I like that very, very, very much. So thanks for joining me. If you've been here before, you know what to expect. If you're brand new, I just told you what to do. And also, back in the day, I went to school to be a radio DJ, but I never got a job. So um, now I do podcasts. Some people might say, hey, you're a failure captain. And others might say, hey, you didn't um, do radio DJing, but you did a podcast. Bravo. And it's been said, I may be the greatest podcaster in the multiverse very possible but i don't know maybe maybe not doesn't matter who cares i'm just here for the love so he's enough rambling let's get on with the podcast but first a word from our sponsor okay do you believe in positive energy see i walk around planet earth i like to spread positive energy i'm all about that positive energy bro you approaching me i'm spreading positive energy I, I expect you to give me positive energy back. If you give me no positive energy, I'm going to walk on off. Peace out. See you later. Because I'm about that positive energy lifestyle. If you ain't with it, all right, whatever. It's all do your thing. But I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to separate myself from you. So, so anyways, if you bought that positive energy, we got a shirt for you over at Six and Fiction's Asshole Store. It says positive energy. So go ahead and get yourself a, a positive energy t-shirt over to Existing Fiction's Asshole Store. I'll put the link below. Now, let's get on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again. It is Wednesday. Wednesday, June 24th. Wednesday, June 24th, right? Here we are again. The months are flying by, but I'm still out here doing podcasts. Two week now. I'll be honest, two week is a little... A little, a little tired these days. Just a little bit. Not trying to whine or complain. I know you don't want to hear me whine or complain. I know you guys got issues. You're like, Captain, you're tired from doing two podcasts. Hey, look at my life. Totally understand that. But it's true. A little tired. But anyways, I said to myself, we're going to make this happen. We're going to do what is necessary to get two podcasts out of week. Whatever is necessary. Now, you got to understand that I got other things going on on planet Earth. Then just do a podcast, right? I gotta do other stuff. A lot of other things gotta get done. A lot of responsibilities. A lot of things gotta get taken care of. Some I wanna do, some I don't. But no, I gotta get I gotta get all this done. So I'm juggling all these balls in there. And one of them is the podcast as well. Gotta make time for the podcast. So here I am, ladies and gentlemen. Wednesday's episode ready to bring it to you live. So anyways, I'm a little tired, like I said. I just had a hamburger with jalapenos on it, hot sauce. Pepper Jack cheese. And I'll be honest, I'm a little tired from eating that. <laughs> You're like, hey, you you have hot sauce on your hamburger? Yes, I do. Hot sauce is good on everything. But um, anyway, so let me stop. Uh, just so, so let me just get right into the podcast. So what I'm gonna talk about this week is that there was some breaking news last night. I think it was last night or the night before. It was I just saw it recently. And the news is this. This is the news. I'm just gonna say. One and only Michael Keaton. You know Mr. Mom? Yeah, Mr. Mom, that guy. 
He's done other stuff. <laughs> but, but that gentleman is in talks to play Batman once again. All right. I saw that. I heard that. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. That was, that was, that was some great news to hear. The fact that they're going to bring Michael Keaton back as Batman. And what I heard, too, is it could be like multiple, multiple films. That's what the word on the street, that's what the rumor is. I heard that, I'm like, that's some of the best news I heard in the last couple weeks in the entertainment industry. It's fantastic that the one and only Michael Keaton will be back playing Batman, possibly. Now, just a, just a, just a little story here. I've, I've covered this before on the, on the Batman podcast, but I'll cover it again. The first, the, really the first main time, or the first time that I really got exposed to the Batman was through that 1989 movie, Batman. I mean, it was the first time I really seen Batman on screen and was like really hyped about it, right? Now, back in 89, there was a lot of hype about that Batman movie. Everyone at the school was wearing t-shirts. It was all over the commercials. They had like fast food had deals with them and they were fast food commercials. Everybody was talking about it. I had a couple Batman shirts. They were selling these Batman shirts all over the place. And I'll be completely honest with you, prior to that, I didn't really have a, a real awareness of Batman. That's when Batman first hit my radar screen, like, majorly. Like I said in the previous podcast, I was aware of him through the, uh, what was it, the 50s or 60s show from back when I was a kid, but I didn't really, wasn't really in my brain. That 1989 movie with Michael Keaton really burnt Batman on the brain. Not just not just Michael Keaton Batman, but also Jack Nicholas playing the Joker. It was just, like I said, it's, like, it's a major memory in my brain, right? There was, there was a, over the years, there's not really been a lot of uh, movies that got dropped that had a lot of impact on me over the childhood, uh, over my child, over my childhood, teenage years. But two of the movies that really did that was Star Wars, obviously, and then like Batman. There's some other ones as well, but those are probably the two most major impactful shows, movies in my, you know, growing up years, right? So seeing Batman back in the day, I, I can I can I can still picture it a little fuzzy, but I can picture that. Being that I was 13 years old when Batman dropped in 1989. 13. I think I just entered middle school, or maybe I'd been there a year. I can't remember. But it's a, those are the formative years, right? The formative years when you're coming up. Those are the transition period. That's that's those are your formative years. And the Batman was on the screen. And um and, and, and they, they didn't realize back in 1989 that how impactful and powerful that character would be to grow over the years. I mean, it was big in 89, but Batman now in 2020 is is a million times more popular than he was back in the day. I thought the hype was big back in 89, it was. But now, man, that, that the, the juggernaut of superheroes and all those guys, man, is just massive, right? I got my first taste, taste of that back in 89. So it's good to hear that the, the whole superhero Batman thing has come a full circle and they're gonna bring back um, Michael Keaton to reprise the role of Batman it should be interesting to see how that is done in the theater to see how that is how that plays out how they do it I'd be very interested to see that so when I saw that I was like very hyped about it I mean I don't you probably can't hear my voice I don't sound that hype I know my son is very hype compared to Sunday's episode but I'm a little tired right now for some reason doing the, the week the weekday episodes a little more tired but nonetheless, you may be able to hear my voice, but fear it, seriously, I was so hyped about that. It's still up to that. So yeah, so it's great news. Michael Keaton, the play, the Batman. Once again, yeah, he's coming back. And, 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 and what, one additional thing I want to talk about as well is that I'm still feeling the, the, the withdrawal binge a little bit that I talked about two episodes ago. And, and the thing, and how that is, is that after watching such a spectacular show that the Bureau was, there is, after after seeing such a great work of art, cinema, TV, motion picture, video, whatever you want to call them, just seeing it done so well, just the the just the, just the perfection of it, in my my opinion. And when I've tried to watch other things, it just nothing compares. You know, I'm watching uh, the uh, what. Uh, Deutschland, Deutschland 86, spy drama. Um, it's cool. It's over on the uh, Sundance app. I'm, I'm, it's, it's all right. It's cool, but it's not. It's not the bureau. And I've watched some other things on TV too, and just like 
after seeing the masterful masterpiece that Tibero is and trying to watch something else I was like I can't I mean I can but it's just not as entertained but I just I don't know it's really weird is it possible that the barrel has spoiled all of their television programming for me <laughs> it's very possible man. I don't I don't know it's very weird and like I said we're not done there's still new episodes airing but I, I just I just really I, I'm seriously I, you know, I, was even, I was even watching MMA which I love MMA I love MMA MMA so much I love combat sports but after seeing the barrel and going to watch MMA I just wasn't as excited as, as it had been before I don't know, maybe it's this Rona thing, but I I think it's just seeing the perfection that that uh that the bureau was, the bureau was. And let me tell you, let me tell you another thing about that. So Vicenta Love, who I talked about in the podcast, uh, rest in peace. Um, she she loved the show, uh, Breaking Bad, right? Breaking Bad. That was like one of her favorite shows of all time. And I remember after she did the whole binge of Breaking Bad on Netflix. And then she tried to watch other stuff. She really couldn't get in anything. It seemed like it seemed almost like Breaking Bad had spoiled all of the shows for her. The only time I saw her really get hype about a new show was um, like a few. I think it was a couple years later, and she was watching the Ozark. Like she was really into the Ozark show. I think I think over the last like three four years, the shows that she would watch that she was into the most. Talk about the scripted shows. Was breaking bad. I mean, she was just binging those like crazy. She kept telling me how good it's like. She said, You need to watch it. I've never seen Breaking Bad, but I am going to take her advice. I'll watch it at some point in time. And then, and then, and then, and then the Ozark. I remember she was obsessing over the Ozark. And I sat in with her a few times and saw a little bit of the Ozark. The Ozark that looked pretty good. But but I think that after she did the binge of, uh, of, of, of Breaking Bad, is what I'm going through right now because she watched things after. She just couldn't get into it too much until the Ozark came along. So I, I've heard the Breaking Bad is really good as well. So maybe that's a real thing. I don't know what we, we call that, but you watch just something that's so great. You, you binge it, you watch it all, and then you just can't watch anything after because just there's nothing else to compare to it. Maybe, it's a, but maybe it might be a real thing. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it did, it did, it did, it, I know that for a fact that was if you sent the love that happened and me with the bureau. So I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, it's um. Sorry for the low energy podcast this week. It's a little tired, but I gotta get them done. You know what I'm saying? This, this, we're playing. With this, this is, this is, this is athletic competition, and so I'm not. You know, I'm trying to do 100 of the court right now, and you know, yeah, everybody has their off off day. So even even on my off day, I call this an off day. Even on my off day, I'm still better than 90 percent of the people in the league. I'm trying to brag. I'm saying it's truth. <laughs> I'm Jordan all day on the podcast. Or maybe not. <laughs> but anyways, all thank you for joining me. I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Gratitude, gratitude. Like I said, I'll check the stats. I see you guys from all over the globe. We're checking it out. People that, like, I wouldn't have thought they speak English now. But whatever. Maybe there's Americans over there. Maybe there's English speakers over there. I don't know. But I don't know. Maybe you're learning English through this podcast. I have no idea. But I want to thank you very much. And maybe one day when this moment of things all over... I come over there and visit you guys and have your cuisine and chill and whatever. Some of these places I looked at on the map, I'm like, oh, it's kind of interesting because I look at the cities as well. A lot of, like I know, of course, I know the countries, of course, but a lot of the cities are like, I don't even know that city. It'd be nice to go chill there and have, have some food and drink up in there. But anyways, um, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Gratitude, gratitude. And until next time, we'll see you. Belief triggers the power to do. David Schwartz. Until next time. Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Lit. Lit. Lit.